Hi everyone, welcome to the VETUS Screen and Media Information Session. My name is Darren Smith. I'm the coordinator of the design courses at Box Hill Institute. Some of the reasons you should study Screen and Media at Box Hill Institute include the fact that we do a lot of practical work. It's not tests and exams, and it's all small tasks building towards a portfolio of work. The teachers are practicing industry professionals and currently work in industry. And we help you to develop an understanding of design principles and elements and 2D animation and 3D principles and elements. And you'll build some skills in the industry standard software, including the Adobe Creative Suite, Maya 3D Modeling Studio, Microsoft Office programs and our web interface. We give you tips and tricks and techniques on how to use all of these tools and also on how to come up with creative, interesting ideas for your work. As mentioned, you'll build a folio which you can use to apply for a range of tertiary courses, including screen and media, photography, design, and visual arts and you can apply for some of these courses at Box Hill or at other tertiary institutions, TAFEs and universities. Some of the courses you can pathway to at Box Hill include Certificate 4 in Design, Diploma of Graphic Design, Certificate 4 in Photography and Photo Imaging, Diploma of Photography and Photo Imaging, Diploma of Screen and Media specialising in makeup services, Diploma of Visual Merchandising, Certificate 4 in Sound Production, which is part of the Music Department, and the Bachelor of Music Industry with a major in Audio Production. Of course, you can also apply for Screen and Media courses at other TAFEs and unis. The employment Opportunities after completing this course are fairly limited as it's mostly a pathway to further study, but you may be able to find work as a, a junior employee in a media marketing or design studio, or as a lighting assistant or interactive media or production assistant, but most students use this as a pathway to further study. So some of the other reasons to study at Box Hill Institute include our great facilities. We have a number of Mac labs with 27 inch iMacs, which are fantastic large screen computers that you can work on. And these all have the industry standard Adobe Creative suite of programs installed, as well as the other software that you use in the course, including Maya and the Microsoft Office. We also have photography studios at Nelson, and Elga Campus, a larger studio at Elga, and sound production suites as part of the music department at Nelson Campus. There's also a broadcast quality TV studio at Elga Campus, and you access all of your learning resources via our student web, which is a student portal. So all your subject information, your project briefs and learning resources, and all of the work is submitted via links in student web and you'll also see your teacher feedback there so that's a very important portal as an interface for students to access their learning material of course we also have a student lounge and cafeteria and we're very close to public transport so all three modes bus train and tram so it's easily accessed from those uh, public transport hubs um, also, for students who need it, we have the student support services available to give you additional support if you need it uh, on top of what your teacher will provide for you. What's expected of you? Obviously, you need to attend and participate in classes, and we want you to be part of the, the community of learning. And if you use your class time effectively, you should be able to avoid doing too much homework. We really don't want to add extra workload on top of what you're doing with your VCE or VCAL studies. So if you use the, the class time, you should get all the work done. There is class time allocated to complete the work. So we'll give you the instructions and what you need to do. And you can use that class time each week to get through the projects. 
You need to submit evidence as you're going along of the practical tasks via student web and you'll get feedback on that as you're progressing. And it's about learning the skills. So we're not really there to pass or fail you as such, although you need to submit work, we want you to learn the skills. So you can in fact submit work, get feedback. If you find there's something missing or needs to be improved, you still can resubmit the work. We want you to build a great portfolio that you can use for accessing and applying for tertiary courses once you finish with us. So some of the subjects we cover include creative and critical thinking, OHS, working effectively in the creative industries, shooting material for screen and performing basic vision and sound editing and also 3D modeling. And that's in year one. In year two, you will study 2D principles and elements, 2D digital animation, author interactive sequences, create visual design components, and how to write for a range of media. There's also a creative and digital media exam that we do a lot of practical tasks that align to the questions in the exam. So when you undertake the exam, you'll have done a series of projects and activities that will help you to answer those questions. The VCE students can do that exam. VCAL students are not required to participate in the exam. As, as long as you complete your unit successfully, you'll get a contribution to your VCAL score. So if you need any more information, you can go to our website, which is listed here, boxhill.edu.au, or send an email to our VETUS department. That's also on screen now. And you can give us the VETUS department a call on the number on screen. And you can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. We welcome you to make contact with us. And once we're out of lockdown, we may be able to give you a campus tour and discuss some of the course in more detail. You're quite welcome to do that. Contact us before you make a start. We will have an orientation session in the first week and go through everything that you need to do in the course. That'll be the first few days of February 2022. Thank you for listening and hope to speak to you soon.